Hello, my name is Shashank. Today, we are going to do a small mathematic challenging activity with my group friends given by my teacher. My group friends are you, Banu Sujit, MD Samyuddin, and T. Rakesh. Hey, what is this? Oh, it's a challenge question from my friend. And my question is, prove x square plus 5x plus 6 with the help of linear equation x plus 2. Find it in division method with the reminder 0. Now to solve the problem, let's go. To start the solution, first divide x square plus 5x plus 6 by x plus 2. Now take x square in rough column and divide it with x. We will get x. And now multiply x with x plus 2. So that we may get x square plus 2x. And write the value of x in quotient's place and write x square plus 2x here. If there is any positive sign here, convert into a negative sign. And here x square minus x square is obviously 0. So cut this one. And now 5x minus 2x is 3x. Take the value of plus 6 down. Now divide 3x by x. We will get 3. Multiply 3 with x plus 2. Now we will get 3x plus 2. Write the value 3x plus 6. Write the value of 3x plus 6 here. And now minus and minus. We we'll cut, cut. So here 0. And here plus 3. As there is mentioned in the question, we should get the value of remainder 0. We obviously got the remainder as 0. So our problem is correct. Now I am giving a question to my friend. This is my question. Hooray! I have got the challenge. Let us complete the challenge. Here we can observe that they have given x square plus 5x plus 6. They have told to prove its formula. So this is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So we have to find the coefficient. So as we observe in question x square coefficient is 1 therefore a is 1 and phi that is b is phi and c is 6. So we can see that quadratic equation formula is minus b plus or minus b square minus 4ac by 2a. So we already know the value of b. So minus 5 plus or minus phi square minus 4 into a value is 1, c value is 6, phi 2 into a value 1, minus 5 plus or minus 5 square is 25, 4 into 1, 4 and 4 into 6, 24 by 2, minus 5 plus or minus under root 1 by 2, minus 5 plus or minus under root 1 is 1 by 2. So from here we should find the alpha and beta. So let us find the alpha and beta. Alpha is equal to minus 5 plus 1 by 2 and beta is equal to minus 5 minus 1 by 2. Minus 5 plus 1 is equal to minus 4. Therefore minus 4 by 2 is 2. Therefore, minus 2 is our alpha value. So, beta value minus 5 minus 1 is minus 5 minus 1 is minus 6. So, minus 6 by 2 is 3. So, beta is equal to minus 3. Start. Let us give a challenge to my friend also.
So this is my challenge to my friend. Oh, it's something tricky. Let's see what it is. It's a challenge from a friend. The question is prove that p of x is equals to x square plus 5x plus 6 is equals to 0 whereas q of x is equals to x plus 2 is equals to 0. So the solution is first we should see what they have given in the question. The given is given p of x is equals to x square plus 5x plus 6 is equals to 0 whereas q of x is x plus 2 is equals to 0 we can write x plus 2 as x is equals to minus 2 so the value of x is x minus 2 x is equals to minus 2 now we need to substitute minus 2 in p of x that is substitute q of x in the equation p of x that is p of minus 2 is equals to x uh, minus 2 whole square plus 5 into minus 2 plus 6 is equal to 0 so minus 2 is nothing but minus 2 whole square is nothing but 4 4 plus 5 into minus 2 is nothing but minus 10 plus 6 is equal to 0 4 plus into minus is minus 10 plus 6 is equal to 0 4 minus 10 is minus 6 then the value plus 6 is equal to 0 this is nothing but minus 6 and plus 6 get cancelled it will come as 0 is equal to 0 LHS is equals to RHS hence we have proved our problem hmm. now now I am giving challenge to one of my friends Hey, I got a challenge from my friend. It's factorization x square plus 5x plus 6. Now let us solve it. It is in the form of quadratic equation where a, a power x square plus b power x plus c. Its factorization is nothing but a quadratic equation where x square plus 5x plus 6 let's now if we multiply 6 into x square we get 6x square so when we add or multiply the middle term we should get x 6x square if we add we should get 5x so to get it 5x to get 5x we should my add 3x plus 2x we get 5x and in the same way if we multiply 3x and 2x we get 6x square as we get it now let us substitute in the following x square plus 2x plus 3x plus 6 as we, let us take the common from the two methods as x is the common x plus 2 and the, in the next equation let us take 3 as the common where 3 is the common and x will be remaining and plus 2 now let us substitute them x plus 3 
into x plus 2 whereas x is x plus 3 is equals to 0 and x plus 2 is equals to 0 where x is equals to minus 3 and x is equals to minus 2 this is the answer from where we factorize the following let me give a challenge to my friend this is challenge to you